Here we go again. So this is the Rondo starting uh, pick up into bar 25. Hands together, no counting. Left hand on G. Up an octave to right hand G. Uh, and then the left hand plays three on B, A, B. Now you hold that right hand G, play A flat with your pinky while the left hand goes up to C with your two. Now left hand changes to three on C, down to B, up to C. Now you hold on to that A flat while your right hand two finger comes down to F and your left hand two finger hits D. Those are together. And now left hand three on D, four on C, three on D. And now you're gonna hold on to that uh, right hand F while your four finger plays G and your left hand two finger plays E flat. The G and E flat come down together. Then the left hand three skips up to that E flat. And then you hold that right hand G while your right hand two finger comes down to E flat and your left hand four finger plays D. And then you come up to E flat in the left hand and then you hold on to that E flat in the right hand while your pinky comes in and plays F while your left hand two finger plays F an octave lower together. Holding on to the E flat, and then you play the two in the left hand again on F. And then you let go of that E flat while holding the F in your right hand and bring your three to D in your right hand and three to E flat in your left hand. And then your two fingers hit together, left hand F, right hand C. And then you're still holding onto that F up on top and your thumb comes down to B in the right hand and your left hand thumb comes down to comes up to G. And then all three notes in the next uh, beat um, come together. A flat, two, finger in the left hand, C, and E flat in the right hand. That's an A flat major chord. And then your three finger comes down to F and you have a trill here. So even though there's a D written above it, an E flat is what hits with that F. And it's E flat, D, E flat, D, and the left hand moves to G while you play E flat, D again, and then C, D, C. That is the whole story.